Well, it was great. Actually, she brought it over here thinking the two of us wouldn't be able to get out, and it would be for us, but... Oh. Well, that was sweet of her. You know, I found something out today. From Rose? Yeah. She is a gourmet cook, not just scrambled eggs and stuff. Really? Yes. I'm not a bit surprised. I mean, she can turn on a fabulous cordon bleu. Terrific. I'd like to taste that sometime. Well, that's exactly what I had in mind. I thought maybe she could fix a very special dinner for us sometime. Water from clinic, you know. Yes, uh, yes. She's right here. Oh, it's for you. Hello? Oh, hi, Tony. Oh, yes, yes, I could definitely make it tomorrow night. Oh, now that sounds lovely, but that's not fair, because you're always entertaining me. I think it's my turn this time. You know, I'd really love to do it. So why don't you come over to my house for dinner? Hey, Rick, how's it going? Joe. Hi, Heather. Rick. Uh, uh, have you met Mike? No. Hi, Mike. Nice to meet you. We're uh, on our way. Sure. I'm, don't make it so long before I see you next uh, time, oh, man. Okay. You can come around oh. here, you know. I don't have oh, to work why? out here. Oh, <laughs> you guess what's happening? So, Rick, how's Mom feeling? She's going to be fine. Doc gave her some medicine, and he's going to see her in the morning. Right, Doc, Rick? Right, right. Then I bet you're ready for something to eat, huh? <laughs> mm. I'll find us a place to sit. Okay. Well, hey, we just had your dinner. Well, I gotta keep that free company. Oh, or is your wife gonna, I mean, ex-wife gonna be here? No, it's just gonna be the two of us guys. Okay. Okay. I think he's finally catching on. Yeah, his timing is incredible. My ex-wife is such an ex-wife, she's entertaining another man in our home tonight. Is that my table? It is. Thank you. Come on in. It's nice to finally have the opportunity, Amy. Those flowers are beautiful. Hi, Tony. Hello. I see you've already met. Aren't these tulips gorgeous? And these are for you. Oh, 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 they are. Oh, they're beautiful. Thank you. Well, we certainly don't have to stand in the hallway, do we? Oh, of course not. Why don't you come on in? You know, tulips were really a good choice. Leslie really does love spring flowers. How's your homework going, Amy? Fine. And your test for tomorrow? I don't have a... Yes, you do. I do have a test for tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> and I guess I'd better go upstairs and study? What a good idea. Nice meeting you. It's a pleasure, Amy. <laughs> what a charming girl. She has an infectious personality. Infectious is such a good word for it. Today, too many people lack enthusiasm, <laughs> a zest for life. That's because Amy has it all. You look beautiful. Thank you. That's a very lovely color on you. But then I suppose everything looks good on you. Oh, Pshaw, would you like to pour us some wine and I will blushingly go and put these in water? That would be a wonderful idea. I have a confession to make. Oh, that sounds interesting. Well, when Amy opened the door this evening, I wondered whether or not we would be alone. And as much as I appreciate her enthusiasm, I appreciate even more when you send her to her room. Oh, dear. Well, I guess I haven't exactly mastered the art of subtlety, have I? Oh, thank you. A quiet dinner for the two of us, just for us. That's exactly what I had in mind. Well, that's exactly what you're going to get. I think, personally, that Amy wanted to check you out. I don't think she'll be down again. Shall we drink to the two of us and a quiet dinner? Tastes good, huh? Yeah. You want another bite? Sure. Rose says you're up next for coffee. Thanks. Having a good time? Why? Enjoy yourself. I will. I will be in the kitchen permanently in case you need me. Do you think this might help you? Yeah. Is that for me? <laughs> That's for me, no. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'm not eating that much. Uh -huh. oh, I don't have much of an appetite myself, and I really need some help on your parts. I think you better 
Well, I'll help you. Don't worry. <laughs> I wonder if I ate that much when I was his age. You probably did, seeing as how you still know how to put it away. So, uh, something make you lose your appetite? Oh, maybe. Uh-huh. Uh, doesn't have anything to do with Leslie now, does it? I mean, her seeing so much of Tony Castle isn't getting to you, is it? It does not hurt unless I laugh. Uh-huh. Mm. Hi, Dad. Oh, hi, hi Laura. Hi, Mike. Hi, Princess. Tony <laughs> Weber, how are you? Rose, is Luke here? Yes, right through there. Great, thanks. I mean, it could have been my son. We spent a night together at a time when both of our marriages were on the rocks. Wesley had told me she couldn't have any more children. And when he said, you have a son, I love you. I love that old guy. I even talked myself into thinking that he looked like me. So when Monica told you the truth... No, no, she never told me. I found out by accident. What? Rick, you've got to be kidding. How could she do that? She was so much in love with you. It was a very vital, very exciting... relationship like that you have once in a lifetime. And it went way back before I was married to Leslie. We were obsessed with each other. Obsessed. Obsessed? But not love, Rick. Well, I found that out. But unfortunately, finding it out, I put Leslie through a... There are times right now that I have a great deal of difficulty even facing her, knowing how much it hurt her. She does seem to have survived it rather well. Oh, yeah, no. Very well. And a little too well? Well, this date with Tony Castle tonight, I, I knew it was a very special thing, and I, I wanted to be able to tell her, hey, have a great time. Just couldn't do it, huh? Well, I almost could, but uh, the thought of her with another man, I... Listen to me. Leslie was very special to you, Rick. Yeah, she was very special. And I think she still is. And if I were you, Rick, I'd do something about it. And soon.